Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. You know, it is never too early to teach your kids how to cook. And with a whole lot of parents still working from home and the kids out of school for summer, well, you got more time to spend in the kitchen. So why not turn it into a learning opportunity? Joining us now is SLU dietitian and spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, Dr. Whitney Linsenmeyer. And she's got two fun and healthy recipes to share with us that will entertain those kids in the kitchen this summer. I love everything about this, Whitney. What do you have for us? Yeah, so I can't say it enough. Get those kids in the kitchen. Like you said, it's a great learning experience and great life skills to teach them. So two super easy things to try at home. You probably already have these ingredients somewhere in your house. The first thing is to make some homemade popsicles. So for these, I really just had three ingredients, some yogurt, fruit, and a little bit of juice just to give it enough liquid, pureed it, and then poured it into Dixie cups. Um, and then let it freeze for about 30 minutes, stuck in those popsicle sticks. That's how we get them to like actually stand up and then let it freeze the rest of the way. Then you just peel off the cup and you're ready to go. Super healthy. If you can convince your kids that it's ice cream, you're even more of a hero. I love it. Super simple. And I think you've got the ingredients for a nice granola in front of you too there. It looks like. Yep. So the next thing I make this, I have a three-year-old and we make this about every week. So he's a maniac. So I think that if he can do it, then your kids can probably handle it at home too. So we take about six cups of oats and I use old fashioned rolled oats. Um, and then about two cups of nuts. You can do really any kind of uh, raw unsalted nut that you have on hand. I happen to have on hand some peanuts and some walnuts that I'm going to add today. And then I like to add about a half a cup of sweetened shredded coconut, gives it some nice depth of flavor. I'm gonna dump that in and about a fourth cup of brown sugar as well for a touch of sweetness. So that's all of our dry ingredients. Um, and then just a little bit of like a pinch of salt and a pinch of cinnamon. It's gonna bring out some flavors. And then so we're just gonna mix those dry ingredients together. Again, kids are great at mixing, right? They're probably gonna fling some of it out of the bowl if it's anything like my house. They're probably gonna try and eat some of those clumps of brown sugar if it's anything like my house, but that's fine too. Um, and then we add our liquid, so about a fourth cup of maple syrup, and then about a fourth cup of olive oil. So we mix that until it's just uh, barely moistened. And then we're going to spread it out on a sheet tray. And then we're just going to bake it in the oven. We're going to go low and slow. We're kind of like drying it out and roasting it at the same time. So I do about 250 um, for about an hour. And I'm going to stir it every 30 minutes to help it to cook evenly. But then your end product right here, you've got a nice granola. You can add in any sort of uh, dried fruit that you have on hand. And it's a really nice homemade cereal or snack uh, to enjoy with your kiddos. Yeah, great to take on the go. Hey, coming soon to the Food Network, the Dr. Whitney Linsenmeyer Show. Nicely done. We really appreciate it, doctor. We're going to post this segment on our website following the show at KMOV.com slash great day. Thank you, Matthew. Thousands of